Hey guys, alright, so this is the John Deere E130 here, and I do have the um, oil chain oil conversion kit on it, so it has a regular filter, not that easy change oil filter, but I'm not going to be changing the plugs, the filter, or the oil filter thing, because I don't have one, but that's actually, that's good, that's okay, so what we're going to be doing, what I'm going to be doing is just, we're going to change the oil because it it's time. It is just time. Yeah, it was time. It was time indeed. It's been a hundred hours last time I changed when I changed it and I did all the maintenance on it. It was uh May it was mid-May. So it's it's been about five months. October. Yeah, we're coming off on mid-October, so it's five months. I put a hundred hours on it, so preferring to change it, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, I'll put it up on the dipstick. Otherwise, what I have left to do, what I need to do is grease. Uh, probably need to sharpen the blades. I gotta check tire pressures. Tire pressures are a little weird. I feel like they are. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's probably about it. I'm probably gonna power wash it because it's getting, it's getting sort of, not necessarily really dirty or bad but it's just kind of getting some grime and stuff it's been a little while maybe good to give it a good wash all right i'm gonna go i realize i, I gotta get my phone off so Otherwise, guys, it's, it's been a good machine. Just to take care of it a little more than... We, we took very good care of the LA120, but I'm just going to try to get into a little better on oil changes and stuff. I do clean that air filter, like, all the time after it's dusty and stuff. Like, after I mow for a day or two straight, I, I get in there and I, I get the blower and clean it out. But I... I thinking that I have not greased this thing it's been it's been a, it's been a, like a minute as you can as you can say since I've done that uh, let's go over there. Otherwise, I have not had any issue with it. Like I've said, oh, everything's pretty much the same. I do want to check the belts out. I gotta do that too.
up because I could have sworn it was a little loose. Yeah, that's probably why there's so much. Uh, I do have Teflon tape around there, but like, that's probably why there's so much. You can kind of see where it's damp up around there. That's probably why. That's probably where some of that. That's where it's kind of leaking oil out just a little bit. All right, that's probably about good. They take them, but this one takes about, it's like two, two and a half quarts. We're running some uh, 10W40 in it. This is the slowest part of the process, is trying to get all this. Not to overfill it. I won't really put too many more hours on it from here on out, so it will be fine. like we're about right there almost sometimes this thing's a little weird yeah that oil needs to be changed pretty bad yeah all right let's keep going it's gonna take about another quarter or so Looks like we're right at full or a little over full, so we're gonna have to I'm gonna let it. Oh my gosh, are we right at full? I think we are. I'm actually gonna wipe that. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. 
and I'm gonna get on to greasing real quick. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. Anyways, bye.